hope you're staying safe at home uh, during these troubling times. Over the next coming weeks and months, Denmark House is going to be coming to you online uh, since you're all stuck at home with a few video tutorials on aquavit making, cocktail making, and some of our cooking classes as well. Starting today with the most requested cocktail and our signature cocktail, the Copenhagen. Check out the comments below for the recipe, um, but I'll get you started now. So what you're going to need is a bottle of Bols Geneva. It's essentially a, a gin uh, from the Netherlands, uh, made with juniper, like all gins. Very delicious. And then our Danish cherry liqueur. So this is Cherry Herring 200. And you'll need a little bit of this uh, simple syrup. You can either make this at home, which I'll put in the comments as well. Otherwise, it's about $15 for Dan Murphy's. A couple of limes, an orange, and a cocktail shaker. Don't get those fancy cocktail shakers from mine. They'll cost you way too much money. This is about $10 from a hotel agency. Very, very simple. It does the job. You'll find most cocktail bars use these. All right, we'll get started. So we're going to go 60 mils, Bowles Geneva, straight in. That's two shots. 30 mils cherry liqueur. This follows a pretty basic fundamental cocktail recipe of 60 mils alcohol, 30 mils citrus, 15 mils sugar. We put a little bit of extra alcohol in this because we're Danish and we love it. 15 mils, simple syrup. Fantastic. I'm gonna put about 30 mils of lime juice in here. You can put a whole lime in, Depending on how juicy your limes are, you might want to measure it out. Get that balance right. If you've got some at home, I'm going to put a little dash of bitters. Uh, this is readily available in most uh, bottle shops. It's a bit of an optional extra. Really balances out with that orange garnish that I'm going to put in. Grab your cocktail shaker. Fill them up with ice. The more ice, the better. The less, the more ice you've got, the less this will dilute and it won't become watery. Seal that up nice and good. Give it a shake. Done. Put a little bash to get them open. Delicious. Icy cold. If you've got any of these strainers at home, these are great. Otherwise, once again, you can get them at most hotel agencies. What we're going to do now, a bit of a tap. We're going to get a little bit of this orange here. Give it a twist to garnish. And that is simple as that Copenhagen cocktail. Check out the comments below for the recipe on how to make that plus this simple syrup. And uh, keep in touch guys, we're going to be doing these once a week. And I hope to see you soon.